Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And uh, just wanted to do a, a quick response. Uh, this is a video loaded. All right, by the beloved brother, Yashalam. His YouTube handle is GMS Watchman. And the title of the video is Great Millstone. Religious misinformation is a danger. BBC News. All right. Um, and uh, make sure you subscribe to this brother's page. Constantly be updated and edified. All right. And uh, prophecy. All right. And this truth. All right. So we're going to go ahead and play this video. And um, as you know, there's a new boogeyman in town. A new boogeyman. All right. Um, are those who are using their beliefs to deny what's coming. All right. And this is going to take a very, 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 very extreme turn. All right. Because what you see happening in the earth is nothing. All right. But uh, another form of Hellenization. You see. Meaning you're going to have to abandon your beliefs. All right. You're going to have to abandon your standards. Whatever they may be. In order to uh, survive and live. All right. In this world that's coming. All right. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and play this and ultimately we'll get some scriptures and uh, hopefully you're edified. Get your chip when you get your COVID vaccination. Now, you see what they started the video off with, right? <laughs> you see what they started the video off with. Now, um, as we always say, we don't teach uh, that, you know, the, uh, the uh, jab itself is the mark of the beast. All right. But. We believe in spirit that they do have ties, all right? But um, that's for another show at another time. Ultimately, just want to get through this and ultimately get some scriptures. They want to alter us. They're sharing false rumors and lies about COVID-19 vaccines. This is a final enslavement. And they have influence because they're religious leaders. I look at anti-vaccine content all day, every day. My name is Kalina Kultai. So these figureheads who have a large platform. And there's always these women who are at the forefront of these researches and studies, you know. <laughs> now, we know ultimately what message is a true threat to them. All right. Um, the message that is a true threat to them. All right. Happens to be this doctrine. All right. The, the, the true words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. OK, as the scriptures say. They overcame him by the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and by the testimony which they possessed. All right. And that's in the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter. So all of the people that they're showing, they're not truly a threat. All right. Now, they may be annoying and some of them are set up for the purpose of them creating a narrative. But the true message. All right. That is uh, uncontrolled. All right. And unalterable. Is the message that the men of Yahweh Bashim Shai possess through the spirit. Or as the scriptures say, he has reserved 7000 to himself, which is a complete number of men. It's not per se 7000. We know seven. All right. It deals with an oath. It deals with completion. OK. Seven thousand have not, you know, b not going to bow their knee to the image of Baal. All right. And this happened in times past, you know, in different situations. You know, forefather Daniel, he didn't bow to the idol that Nebuchadnezzar, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. OK. You had uh, various men, you know, Yahweh Shai and his followers were beheaded. All right, because they refuse ultimately to bow, you know, uh, to the idols and to the to the to the to the different uh, Caesars and all of the madness that they had going on. OK, they like to paint this picture that the disciples and Yahweh Shai were just these lovey dovey men walking around. No, they 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 were against. All right. The the you know, the idols, they were against the wickedness. 
all right, that was upheld by the powers that ruled at that time. So how much more us, okay, in this time being followers of Yahweh Shai, all right? For ties are often respected, and they also have the cultural competency to understand what is important, what are their values, what is necessary to make that information powerful and resonate. It's a minority spreading these false messages. Most leaders in every faith are trying to do the opposite. The vaccine is a gift of hope. But when religious leaders spread wrong information about vaccines, it can be powerful. In India, this man suggests the vaccine is an international conspiracy to feed cow's blood to Hindus. But there's no cow's blood in COVID-19 vaccines. A Greek Orthodox bishop says slaughtered fetuses are used to make vaccines. But this emotive language is extremely misleading. There were two fetuses aborted in the 1960s that are used to produce a cell line that's still used today in the process of making deactivated virus that goes into the vaccine. But that does not mean that they're taking aborted babies and putting it in your vaccines. In Israel. Now, the, God, the godfather of Maxine himself, Stanley Plotkin, okay, plotting on your kinsmen, <laughs> said himself, openly under oath that this is what they do you know now i'm not going to go all into it but you can clearly see the propaganda in the wording slaughtered fetuses no it's aborted fetal cells okay now if you look at who's on the right as this brother uh has it's the uh ceo of youtube okay and what is she a 1948er Okay, if you don't know what that is, you need to catch up. Okay, it's the people who are proclaiming that they are the chosen people. All right, I'll just put it like that. And we know what the scriptures say. Let's get it. So what you're witnessing ultimately is them in a roundabout way warring against the word warn against the truth okay this is the book of exodus the 17th chapter in the 16th verse it says because he because he said for he said because the lord i'll start at 15 and moses built an altar and called the name of it yahweh nasai okay let's look that up is it a, I believe it's like a Yahweh's journey or I forget how that, what it exactly means. Let me just get that real quick. Yahweh is my banner. All right. I know Nasai can also mean journey or something, you know, of that sense as well. It says the name, the name given by Moses to the altar was showing you he knew the name of the Lord, all right, in commemoration of the dis, all right, com comfiture of the Amalekites, all right. Now, we're lifting up a banner. Now, the scripture says in verse 16, for he said, because the Lord have, uh, because, for he said, because Yahweh have sworn that Yahweh will have war with Amalek, from generation to generation all right and how is that war playing out okay through ultimately what they're they've done to the chosen people but ultimately through the blasphemy that they've pushed out in the earth everything that they do everything that they push it goes against what the heavenly father all right set up this is the book of second thessalonians okay chapter uh two And three, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, All right, and he's doing that with his medical field as well. Now, verse 8 said, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume 
with the spirit of his mouth. Okay, that's an info war. And him, you know, consuming him with the spirit of his mouth is sending the prophets out there. All right, the prophets, the priests are the mouth of the Most High, man. Let's get that in the book of, uh, I believe, Malachi. Was it Micah? Malachi, maybe Malachi 2 and 7. Malachi chapter 2 and 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek, all right, the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Let's also get the book of Daniel. book of Daniel chapter 9 and around 10 it says neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws which he set before us by his servants the prophets okay um hold up let me see here yeah, that's it. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set bef uh, before us by his servants, the prophets. So the servants, the prophets are the voice, the word of Yahweh Shem Shai. You see? So in the latter days, the wicked will be revealed through the word. You see? Through the word also through his own kind and through various people all right the lord put you know sp he put spirits on them to bring things out so right now this 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 devil is in a position to where he's being exposed at a rapid rate and he no longer controls the narrative see and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming okay so he's going to consume him with the spirit of his mouth by the prophets but then that's going to lead to him returning okay on those chariots okay even him whose coming is after the working of satan okay and when you deal with the amalekites they deal directly with the spiritual demon satan that's why they have so much see with all power and signs and lying wonders all of the lies that they've pushed out and with all the deceivableness of, of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So a lot of people, all right, are um, deceived by these things. And this is how they get their power. But then here come the prophets on the scene. And now there's a new spirit in the earth. Okay. Prior to, um, you know, me waking up, you didn't see these type of videos you know, on the scene, you know, then the apostles and elders who had been out there even before I woke up. So I'm not saying that, you know, the truth started, you know, the, that it all started when I woke up. But speaking from a personal experience, you didn't see, you didn't start hearing, you know, things like the Illuminati and all of that to around 2000, uh, you know, five, six. And then the prophets, the apostles and elders, of great millstone came on to the uh, YouTube around 2007. And that's when I woke up to the truth. All right, prior to that, you didn't really have too many people going deep like that. You had a few people, you know, going into particular things, uh, you know, exposing particular things. But it it really it really started exposed. This this devil really started getting exposed. Okay, when the prophets came onto the scene, and this is how he is going to be uh, ultimately condemned. Because the scriptures say, out of the mouth of two witnesses shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. So this testimony is swallowing up all of the lies. As a matter of fact, as we always bring out, Revelation, the uh, 12th chapter. Revelation, the 12th chapter, and... Uh, the tenth verse and i heard a loud voice in heaven saying now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our god okay and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down okay as the scriptures say sit in the dust O virgin daughter of babylon okay being cast down meaning you you're fallen from that great estate you were in how how art thou fallen from heaven O lucifer 
all right now lucifer means light bearer all right through pseudoscience through lies they've been able to you know parade themselves as the the the, the standard of light the beacon of what wisdom is but now that the true prophets are on the scene okay his wisdom is being made folly see and he through his you know amalek especially all of these edomites but amalek you know with the power he has he's been able to pay off you know uh people who are in high positions people who own news stations people who own uh, uh newspaper you know uh, uh publishings people who own you know educational systems to where they can set up schools and what what have they done they've been able to lie they've been able to accuse they've been able to place the chosen people in a particular category as not the chosen people as as, as all of these different lies and ironically you know uh, the, the chosen people are turned into that very science that label them all of these things and and categorize them as these very various things in these latter days but anyway the power let me read it again and and i heard a loud voice in saying in heaven now has come salvation and the strength and the kingdom of our god all right now what does the scripture say esau is the end of the world so right here is saying the same thing but in a different way and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down okay which accused them before our God day and night, okay? They never stopped, and they won't stop until the Heavenly Father, as the Scripture say in us, uh, we were just reading in Second Thessalonians, he who will now will let, will let until he be taken out of the way. See, without this this gospel, it's kind of like you you don't have a understanding of how he's going to be stopped. A lot of Jake think, well, you know, either the you know, so-called white people are just going to die off you know, because they're not reproducing. Well, that that's going to take years down the line for that to happen. <laughs> you see, and then they, they're creating science to where they can try to preserve them. So we need something from on high, man, to stop them. But, but, but it starts with this word going out, you see, which accused them before our God day and night. And he didn't just accuse us through calling us niggas. It was through the science. It was through everything that he put out there, through the education, through the media, through everything, he's accused us. And that word accuse, as we always bring out, is to categorize, categoreo. Okay, he was able to, 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 to take the Heavenly Father's creation and, 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 and categorize it as something else. Which has led to confusion, death, alright? Everything's out of course, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb... And by the word of their testimony. See that? That's how we overcome him. By the blood of Yahweh Shai. Meaning being justified. To where none of his accusations. Or nothing, none of what he's planning to do. Has any power over us. And by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. Now. You know. When a, fu when a fugitive is. You know. On the run. The person who has a testimony against him is dangerous. That's why we're known as two witnesses, man. The two witnesses have the testimony, all right, um, that will lead to him being taken down, man. Deuteronomy 17 and 6, and out of the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses shall he that is worthy to death be put to death but at the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death so this is why where you read in uh, revelation 11 i will give power unto my two witnesses okay and those two witnesses represents the northern and southern kingdom and through their testimony the end will come the end of his reign will come so he's in the process at this point of using enchantments. Stand now with thine enchantments, okay, to downplay the testimony. But he's going about it in a very slick and demonic, devilish, sly manner. And you know people are going to fall for it. And you know the main people falling for this all is, is our people. Of course, Edomites and heathen, 
But Jake is hardcore falling for the devil's agenda, man. And they're going to be the main ones coming after us in the days coming. A rabbi claims the vaccine will make you gay, which is nonsensical. All those claims to be safe. And in the U.S., some evangelical Christians are debating whether vaccines are the mark of the beast, a sign of the devil, and the end of times. Some are debating that the vaccine is the M.O.B. Right now, they're showing all of these white faces. They're showing all of these, but but we know. See, the scriptures tell you about this devil, man. Does the does the scriptures tell you, man, that? He is more subtle than any of the beasts of the field, man. He's very, very, you know, sly. That's why you have to be very, very careful. But the beauty of it is now we have the spirit. See, that's something that Jake hasn't possessed in any of their movements or so-called awakenings is the spirit to discern. See, like you got Sonnetter and all of these Jake's. You know, in this whole black power Egyptology thing, but they don't understand that Esau set that up. He's the one want, who who made it a, a, a point to implement African-American studies. You have Melville, Herskovics and Franz Boas. They were the two who were responsible for that. So he got you. If you walk around calling yourself black, if you walk around talking about, you know, uh, 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 we, we need a piece of the, the, the American pie. We're going to forward ourselves here. You lost. You're deceived. The subtility of the serpent has, has, has ultimately taken root in what you believe. You see? Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent, which it wasn't a damn snake, was more, more subtle than any of the beasts of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Now we're not going to go into this, but this serpent, as we always bring out, is a witch. So what you're witnessing is heavy witchcraft, heavy enchantments, man. Okay? Serpent. And I'm just, you know, in the spirit. Had to get out and look at some water. So I had no plan. I just I'm just everything that I'm I had that video and I'm just going in the spirit. Uh the word is Nakash. Okay. And we have to continuously bring out the same points. Because you have this is repetition, man. You know? Uh I, I forget the the saying, but you know, repetition is the mother. I forget how it's worded, but you have to do things in repetition. It's the book of Hebrews, the second chapter, in the very first verse says, we must continuously bring these things up lest they slip. Because the pressure that's going to come from this world and how they're going to present it, they're going to make you, they're, they're so demonic that if you're not rooted, they're, they're going to make you feel like you're wrong for believing what you believe. And you're going to choose the world over the truth. So Nahash is a pra to practice divination to divine to observe observe signs learn by experience fortune telling uh, omen practice divination and these are enchantments so you're seeing these very enchantments being thrown up in your face Isaiah 47 cuz they what, what what can they do but they they can't hide so they got to come at this message, but they're going to do it from a very, very demonic place. You know, they're even going to have, you know, they, uh, if you've been watching, you know, so-called conspiracy theorists, you know, are committing ter terroristic acts based on the information they're looking at on the Internet. OK, somehow there's always these boogeymen. All right. But the bankers, you know, Monsanto and all of these things that cause true issues in the earth are never mentioned in the news. I wonder why, because the news is bought and paid for. And your leaders are bought and bought and paid for. Okay? Martin Luther King, your preachers, all of them were funded by the beast. See, the true message that's going to lead to salvation will not be funded by the beast, and it will be absolute separate from the world. 
See? Isaiah 47. And 10, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, none seeth me. Like, people don't really understand what you're doing. And, I, and we're going to look at the comments. I guarantee you people, because I, I, I'll go to the video, but I, I guarantee you a lot of people are, are, are like, man, get the hell out of here. But you're always going to have your sheep. There's going to be more sheep than there are people who, who will really woke. All right. And then amongst that, you got the elect. All right. Because woke people who, who may understand a few things can be stupid as hell too. This whole woke culture. It says, Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and there is none else besides me. That's what he's saying via what he's pre presenting. I am. Alright? Now, let me um jump to verse 12. Because... You know, ultimately what they're trying to do is escape from the judgment coming. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, which thou shalt not know from whence it ariseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. And that's ultimately what he's trying to escape. Nimrod tried to do it through building the Tower of Babel. Calling upon these demons, getting everyone to leave off from their way. Make everybody one people and, you know... <laughs> it says uh and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly and that's what they're you they're trying to use their technology and enchantments and pseudoscience and everything else to escape judgment see stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast labored from thy youth if so be thou shalt be able to profit if so be thou mayest prevail See, thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let's look up this word weary. Because Esau is weary. That's why he got to do all of this. See, when you lie, you got to keep lying. You got to figure out a way to keep people in that sleep. And it's wearisome, you know? The word for weary is la'ah. <laughs> to be impatient to be grieved and who's he grieved by the prophets now he know in his, his his devil mind he can't just run at us and you know uh, uh uh take us down and you know if he now if he you know if this if the heavenly father wasn't in control that's how you know the lord is in control he would do that but he has to paint a narrative he now he's starting to you know make his march in to where he can come at the men of the lord Okay, and you best believe Vocab Malone will pop up to help with that part. Because they have to label us terrorists before they can move. Then once they can, you know, present to the world, you know, these people are the problem. And there, there's going to be other people along, you know, with us that they present. But we know that th their, their intent and target is the Hebrew Israelites. Because amongst the Hebrew Israelites are those who have the true testimony that will lead to his downfall okay and then you have these these everyday mad you know uh, uh 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 edomites who are pissed off that the bankers have pretty much ran away with the blessing and not included them so they coming out with things so he's weary he's grieved he's offended see you see to, he's impatient he's tired of something he's weary He's exhausted, you know, and the demons ain't answering them like they used to. Because the demons are subject to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? So he's weary, okay, in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers and stargazers and monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. And you know, Pharaoh did that. You know, Pharaoh, once he saw all of the plagues, once he saw Israel you know, following Moses, they had all sorts of, uh, councils, man. Real quick, Isaiah, the 19th chapter. And BBC, all right, which I believe is out of uh, the UK. They're owned ultimately by the 666, man. Isaiah 19 
and 11. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh has become brutish. Now, who's the modern day Pharaoh? How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of wise kings, the son of ancient kings. And that's what they do. They've taken on this ancient Sumerian, you know, Babylonian, Canaanitish, all right, uh, Egyptian knowledge. You see? So the, 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 the council of Pharaoh has become brutish. Okay? Now, Zoan, just to, you know, edify on it. To Zion, to Zion. It says the place of departure, an ancient city of lower Egypt called Tanis by the Greeks, located in the eastern branch of the Nile, capital of the Shepherds dynasty, yada, yada, yada. So that's an ancient place in Egypt. Now there's another place they're going to bring up. Let me go back. Yep, Noth. Verse 13. Where are they? Where are thy wise men? Because Esau's being made to look like a fool. All of these people who he, these scientists, like you listening to them like, what? But you still got people believing that lie because the Lord wants them to be condemned. If you're waking up and you're starting to see things, consider yourself blessed, man. Especially if you uh, understand this doctrine more than anything. It says, where are they? Where are thy wise men? Let them tell thee now and let them know what Yahweh have proposed upon Egypt. The prince, <laughs> you know, the true prophets are the one with that message, man. Now they're trying to figure out a way to stop it. The princes of Zoan are become fools. The princes of Naf are deceived they have also seduced egypt even they that are to stay of the tribes because we're here so egypt has been seduced and the pride of his heart have deceived him now naf ultimately what i wanted to look up naf napa or nap Presentability, another name for Memphis, the capital city of Egypt. There was a more history. There was another one with more history. Let's see here. Because basically this is one of the cities where Pharaoh and his magicians would meet to take counsel, man. Okay. Let's see here. Awesome. But anyway, the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit and Egypt is basically finished, man. But you can look, you know, look those those things up. Let's listen to a little bit more of this, because ultimately they're going to ban the Bible. We're going to play it on through and then uh, we'll give them a few more scriptures to roll out. The market. I think it's difficult for social media companies to uh, figure out where is the appropriate moderation limit when it comes to religious content. Even when negative messages aren't necessarily false, they can have a big impact. Sitting in London, I received this message from a friend in Nigeria, but it came from Zambia, where the speaker, Nevers Mumba, is a politician and a former televangelist. Zambia must not inject any vaccine in any Zambian body before strenuous verification there's a danger when someone as influential as you spreads a message like this publicly, they undermine confidence in the vaccine. Why did you feel the need to make this statement publicly? I think it's my moral obligation as a leader uh, to make that public because it puts our authorities um, on alert to realize that we are not just people who receive anything that comes to us, but all we are saying to our people make sure it is safe is pre-regulation by the who that isn't enough by your standards no, not at all not at all as if there's not a history of of just fraud and deceit of these people man yeah you people are something else and you know i want to say more 
But you know what it is, man. Come on, man. After all of that, you wondering why people don't trust your ass. Then they want to bring up Tuskegee as if that's the only one. It's all you notice is always Tus Tuskegee. Like that's the only case we can point to <laughs> of evil doing, man. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. When Pfizer hit London, London had to do its own verifications and ensure that they are satisfied. Even if the intent of the person who's posting it is not necessarily to spread misinformation, it can be interpreted as a message to not vaccinate. Dr. Teddy Andrew Mulenga challenged Nevers Mumba publicly. I asked him why. For us here, yeah, pastors, they have huge following. And whatever they say is taken as gospel truth. He believes that Zambia, like other countries have done, should trust the WHO's rigorous pre-regulation to get the vaccine quickly. I am a doctor, but there are more people listening to him. Bismillah, Lavi. It's crucial that religious leaders get vaccine messaging right. Talal is very important for Muslims. In 2018, the highest Muslim clerical council in Indonesia said a measles and rubella vaccine wasn't halal. Uh, MUI then issued a fatwa that uh, this, even it is not halal, but it still can be used. But that mixed message meant many parents refused to vaccinate their children. Now, with the coronavirus, they want to do things differently. They put out a fatwa saying the COVID-19 vaccine from Sinovac is halal before the rollout in Indonesia began. I think it's incredibly important for religious leaders to spread accurate and up-to-date information about vaccines and making sure that that information that they're spreading is relevant to their congregation. Because a delay in vaccinating means more lives lost. We need the vaccine. And the people who are, who are, who are getting it are losing in large amounts, more than they, they're willing to admit. But what it's coming down to, at the end of the day, Let's, uh, is ultimately they're gonna, <laughs> as the brother, he's a troop 144. Yep. They're gonna say ultimately you're a uh, terrorist, man, for preaching the, the scriptures. Scriptures are getting ready to be banned. Okay. And it's happened before. This is uh, at the time of Maccabees, man. Uh, first Maccabees 1 and 41. Let me put this on. Uh, I just got a feeling somebody going to call. First Maccabees 1 and 41, moreover, King Antiochus had root, wrote unto his whole kingdom that all should be one people. All right, and forgive me, I got a, a slight headache, so I'm just doing what I, you know, do. I'm just work, operating in the spirit, man. It says, um, and moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And everyone should leave his laws. All right. This is what Nimrod tried to do. Everyone should leave his laws. So put away what you believe. Put away your standards. Put away your culture. Put away everything. And you're going to come under this new banner. And it starts with Maxine. All right. Everyone should leave his laws because our laws say not to do this. This is why he's eventually going to come hard after us. Because a lot of people are going to fold. See, the, 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 the men of the Lord are going to have a message, all right, that's going to lead to the remnant being delivered under the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So everyone should leave his laws, and so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. See, because all of the heathen were Hellenized, but who's the, the, the scriptures is following the narrative of what? Yea, many also of the, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. And when you deal with his religion... Okay, his way, all right, it, it's it's his medicine is a part of that. His pharmacia. See, that's a part of the enchantments. As a matter of fact, 
we'll go right back to this when you get uh We get it here. When you get the book of uh, Revelation. <laughs> Revelation chapter 18 and. 23 and a light of a candle shall no more sh shine at all in thee. <laughs> your, your wisdom is going to be put out. OK, that's why you call yourself Lucifer. The bearer of the light. You don't have the true light. The true light is through the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures, the law, statutes, and commandments, man. That's what's going to bring this earth to paradise. That's what's going to bring the Israelites to eternal life under Yahweh so the earth can see and be delivered from this wickedness, man. And the voice of a bridegroom and a bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, okay? All of these uh, 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 world leaders have sold out to the whore, okay? And this beast system to bring forth all of this science, man. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived, right? And when you go to sorceries, pharmakia, see that? The use of administering of drugs, poisoning. Okay, and there's more than enough information out there for you to know what's going on. Sorcery, magic, magical arts often found in connection with idolatry and fostered by it. All right, and we know that the Rockefellers, okay, uh, uh, have a big part in turning medicine upside down. All right, metaphorically, the, the deceptions and seductions of idolatry. And what you're witnessing, whether you know it or not, is a part of adultery. You remember when they were in the UK and they did a uh, an exercise? What was it called? A panacea, a Sclepius. All right. If you if you're watching this video and you don't know who a Sclepius is, just type in a Sclepius. Try to spell it in Google. It should get it right. God of medicine. Just type in Asclepius God of medicine and you'll see. That's what's happening now. That's what's ultimately the vibration of it all. All right. But now they just have the fatness of the earth because you got to remember the Greeks. All right. Were the beginning of this beast system. So what you see happening here, what we're reading about. OK, they're getting ready to bring that same energy. All right. That ultimately you're going to leave off from your laws. OK. And, and, and all should be one people, new world order. Verse 343, yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profane the Sabbath. Okay, and these are idols that are being presented to you. All right, for the king has sent uh, letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. You see that? And, and now they're not doing it by letter. Now they are eventually. You know, they're going to do it via your job. They're doing it via the news. They're doing it via the uh, uh, the, the Internet. Well, we're, we're watching it. OK, you're going to have to follow the strange laws of the land. And it's strange <laughs> you know, to, to, to do that, to, to jab yourself. To come on, that's strange, man. But what is this? And then you got big, dumb niggas. It's proven by scientists. Science, science. Shut the hell up. Get your dumb ass up. And forbid burn offerings. Now, the scriptures say we're supposed to offer up our bodies as a living sacrifice. Now, at that time, they actually had the temple and the altar and they were offered up sacrifices. But this is our sacrifice. So we can't. The scriptures say you're not to join the, 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 the body with an idol. OK. And drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days and pollute the sanctuary of the people, holy people. We are that sanctuary. And they want to pollute that, man. OK. Now, as you read down, it says that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable 
you know, all matter of uncleanliness and profanation. And they're pushing that on you. They're pushing all unclean things on you. And no one can have a voice about it. And at the end, that they might forget the law and change all the ordinances, man. And whosoever should not do according to the commandment of the king, he should die. And as you go down... verse 56 this is what the greeks did and when they had rent in pieces the books of the law which they found they burnt them with fire the bible was banned man and whosoever was found with any book with any and whosoever was found with any the book of the testament or if any committed to the law the king's commandments was that they should be put to death Thus they did by their authority unto the Israelites every month to as many as were found in the city. So there came a point where if you were reading the scrolls, if you were sacrificing, if you were burning the incense, if you were, you know, trying to cleanse the spiritual temple, you know, the, 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 or, or cleanse the temple. If you stood by your beliefs, you were you. There was a law put in place. that They could put your ass to death. That happened in the era of Rome. See, see, the church in this day is linked with the world. See, the, the, the true followers of Yahweh Bashim Shai were never linked with the world, and they spoke against the ways of the world. But anyway, hopefully I'll edify it on to the next one. Shalom.